Salut. Ça va? Ça, on sait toujours pas ton nom, toi. Moi, c'est David. Ok. Good. Et voici Olivier qui va être notre guide ce soir. Hello world. Hello world. <laughs> And that's that's gonna be a bilingual tube stories, ok? Euh, S'il y a un peu. Les petits pains. <laughs> Les petits pains, c'est pas des pains, c'est des pains. T'as vu? C'est pas des pains, c'est des pains. Wow! English, uh, so now, now we need a few words. I am Groot. <laughs> You're what? <laughs> Voilà. Et euh, Brian is in the kitchen. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yes. That's what you learn. It's right. It's cool there. Yes. There Where is a red Brian? car. There is a red car in the street. I yeah. remember that sentence. That was like the first one I learned. That's our only night in Toulon with the tubes, and I think that Montfaron is simply the best nearby option for us. The view here is fantastic. We know we're going to make good use of the city lights. There's barely no one here at night, the weather is perfect, and we are thrilled to share a few tricks with our new friends, Olivier and David. The light painting night started with our very recent way of working, which is mostly about tube stacking. On this one, we have a small rainbow tube on top of a long milky white. This worked pretty well, but with the wind we had a hard time to get sharp pictures. Doing circle was very painful and most of our shots were blurry. The guys did a few shots which turned out really well using the rose bronze tube. Then I ended up the night with a small holographic orange tube on top of a black one. It was interesting to make these pictures while staying behind the camera. It's really not something I'm used to and yes it makes things much easier. I'm writing these lines on the flight back to Montreal and I can't believe how lucky we are to live this life of creation, traveling with our art all over the world. I keep telling this to Kim and it's probably the first time I mention it in this video series, but despite the fact that we've been doing tube light painting for nearly four years now, I still feel like we're only at the beginning of something. The future is bright. Are you part of this? Mm -hmm. 